Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. So today I decided I'm actually going to color my locks and it's been almost a year since I've colored them. And since I'm coming up on almost my two years, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do it since I've been wanting to. So I've been rocking the ombre look for the whole year basically. And I don't hate the ombre look or anything like that, but I'm thinking I'm gonna try to even it out and I'm still going to do a two-tone type of color because I do like that a lot. So I have the first color here is the lightest blonde by Cream of Nature. And I'm gonna put that in the front. It's gonna be the front half of my hair. And the second color is going to be this one, which is a medium brown. So the back is going to be the medium brown color. And then I'm gonna do the front and the blonde. I'm also gonna use this Adore Paprika, the semi-permanent on the back end where I put the medium brown because I'm looking for the back to have like a, I guess you wanna say like a copper type of color. So that's what I'm thinking, like a copper brown type of back area. And then the front would be like blonde. And I'm not sure what type of blonde I'm gonna get. So depending on how that goes, I'll gauge if I'm gonna keep it as light blonde as it comes out or if I wanna darken it to kind of blend in with the back, so to speak. So I'm gonna try to even out the color, like I said, to get it to be one solid color throughout. But if it doesn't happen, I'm not mad if it still gives me the ombre look. So let me go ahead and get started with the color. So to start, I'm going to section my locks and I like to do this for more control of coloring <laughs> because I honestly don't trust myself leaving it not sectioned. So I'm going to take these goodie bands. I'm going to section off the back half of my hair that I want to be the medium brown and then I'm going to section off the area in the front that I want to be the blonde color. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sectioned off my locks and I put them in pretty small sections because I don't want them to be too big and I don't color them properly. So this top front half is going to be my blonde portion, which is all of these up here and my copper or dark brown area is going to be this section back here. So now I'm going to go ahead and mix the color so I can get started with the coloring process. Okay, so first I'm going to take the medium brown and it comes with a cream color and developer and it also comes with some argan oil and conditioner. So I'm just adding the cream color into the bottle with the developer. I'm also going to mix the lightest blonde color and this one comes with the high lift booster which is the bleaching powder and the developer. It also comes with conditioner and the liquid color. So I'm just going to pour 
this one also into the developer and I'm also going to add the bleaching powder into the bottle. So I did go ahead and add some more hair ties to the end of my locks, which I didn't need to. I just wanted a guard of me trying to color the mid shaft, but I did a pretty good job of doing it and I really didn't need them. So I just started by coloring the mid shaft of my locks and I tried to saturate it as much as possible. Since the tips of my locks are lighter, I'm trying to get everything even. I did go ahead and write blonde on the bottle so I would know the difference between the two colors. And now I'm just taking the blonde color and I'm going to do the same thing. Start coloring the mid shaft of my locks. I covered each section with a plastic cap. I put one on top to cap off the blonde section and I capped off the second one with a plastic cap to cover the brown section. And then I just added this blue turban on top to create some heat and I left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now I want to take out the hair ties and I'm going to go ahead and start coloring the roots of my locks with the brown color. And I do saturate it a lot to make sure every part is covered. So I start with my roots and I also add the color to the tips of my locks. So this is how the blonde is looking after I colored the mid shaft. So now I'm removing the hair ties from this section and I'm going to cover up the brown section so it doesn't mix with the blonde. And I just use one of my clips to clip it off and keep the plastic cap on. So this is where I had a problem because I didn't have enough color. So as you can see, I'm constantly shaking this bottle and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have enough color. So I didn't saturate this section as much as I should have. So I did eventually go to the hair store and pick up another box. So this was processing while I was gone, which is probably why it lifted so much because of the time it took me to go to the hair store and come back and finish the process. So here is how the back is looking with the brown. And now I'm just going to add the paprika color on top. And now here is the blonde section, how it's looking. And you can see how uneven it is in certain spots. But this is how it looked before I washed out the color, the back and the front. So here is everything after I shampooed my hair. Here is the blonde area. You can see how patchy it is. And then this is how the back of my hair is looking, which looks very even, very nice. So 
So to calm down this blonde color, I decided to use what I have on hand, which is some ginger and Cajun spice. I don't have much ginger in this bottle, so I didn't have much of it to use. So I did, for the majority of my head, use the Cajun spice all over since I didn't have much of the ginger. So I'm just going ahead and saturating my locks with the color. Okay, so here are the results of my two tone color. And to be honest, this is not exactly what I was going for but this is what I decided to come up with based on what I had and based on how the blonde came out it came out much brighter than I was expecting and it wasn't as even as I wanted it because I didn't saturate it as much as I should have and actually ran out of color I don't know why I didn't consider getting two boxes at first. I only got one because I thought me doing the half and the half would be enough and then I wouldn't need to get the second box because the last time I did this, I had so much color left over. But I'm gonna tell you that it's better to have more color than not enough color. So buy the two boxes, especially if you have locks. So, I know you saw me use the ginger and the cinnamon, I believe, color in the previous clip. And I did use those colors, but it still was so bright that I really didn't like it. So I decided to just go ahead and add the rest of the paprika on top. So basically my whole head is <laughs> a mixture of all the colors. So I had the ginger, the cinnamon, and then I added the paprika on top, the mix of all of those colors. And then the back is just the dark brown mix with the paprika also. Which gives me this color. which I actually really like how dark it is. And the two colors actually go together because they're within the same family of colors. It's just that, you know, the back is darker because I had a darker base and the top is lighter because I had a blonde base. So it's actually reversed what I thought I was gonna get. I actually thought I was gonna get the top color in the back and I actually thought I was gonna leave it more of a blonde type of color, but like I said, I needed to see what the blonde was gonna look like before I actually decided on if I was gonna change it or darken it. I just decided to darken it into this copper color, which I actually love. I was a redhead before, so it's giving me kind of that redheadish vibe, but on a more orange tone. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came out so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i thank you so much for watching take care bye guys